How's it going, people? So, in 1989, the 13-year-old me went into his favorite Dungeons and Dragons shop in uh, Sokolov Street, uh, Mata Sharon, if anyone remembers. And uh, this amazing issue of Dragon Magazine caught my eye. Now, Dungeons and Dragons was my life. At the time, being the weird, you know, reject that I was as a kid uh, that didn't know any of the rules. So I was socially awkward. You know what I mean? I was I didn't know anything. I, I didn't know like, like how to talk to girls, how fucking society works, how to, to I don't know nothing. I didn't know nothing. I felt lost. And finally, a world, a fantastic world with monsters and magic and treasures and unbelievable you know hugeness appeared before me right and gave me the rules of confrontation and gave me and i knew how much a magic bag could carry and how much damage a fucking uh double-handed battle axe does and uh hit points and experience points you know what i mean and you could fantasize about fucking an elf whatever you know whatever it was I had the fucking rule book. I had the Dungeons and Dragons rule book, which was the original, the red book. Um, just a second. Here we go. Came in a box like this. All right, it had the manuals in it, the dice that you play with, and uh, yeah. So that just blew my mind. And when I saw this, it also blew my mind. And uh, Dragon Magazine, actually, they started, the first issue was launched in uh, 1976, which, interestingly enough, is the year that I was born. Um, and it was basically a role-playing game magazine and board game magazine that eventually became very heavy on the Dungeons & Dragons. Every issue had its own theme. This was the Halloween, the Halloween theme. And uh, the last issue of Dragon was uh, actually printed in September 20, uh, 2007, number, uh, issue number 359, and then they stopped. But right after that, they started the uh, uh, Wizard of the Coast got back together, which are a part of Hasbro. That's a toy and board game manufacturer. They got together and they uh, continued it online until 2013. And then that, and I don't know, they, they transformed it to a Dragon Plus online magazine, and they started from issue number one again. So fuck that shit, we don't care. I wanted to show you the real deal Holyfield from 89, and to let you sort of, uh, just to leaf through it, to give you uh, an idea of what this magazine was about. These are uh, Buck Rogers books. Sniper. I mean, this was just the world to me. This was full of magic and rules and um, advice on how to play Dungeons and Dragons. They scared the shit out of me <laughs> back in the day. Um, lots of uh, miniatures for role-playing games. So these are Star Wars miniatures. Uh, they went uh, in depth into uh, the different um, uh, monsters that were in the games. The Dragon's Bestiary. This one's eating somebody's brain. So uh, very cool stuff here. These are the different creatures. Uh, and I'm getting old, so my eyesight's also getting fucked up. Can't fucking read it. You got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles role-playing game. Ain't kid stuff. You had rules. There was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle role-playing game, if you believe it. Uh, if anyone played it, I'd love to know. Um, the Sunset World. So this went like they went in depth into the, these are the Elithids, Mind Flayers. I, I don't remember. Like uh, to be honest with you, something to do with the, like another world, maybe from the Spelljammer world, which was this. Another uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons in Space game. This went in depth. This is like an explorer that went to their uh, world, Space 1889. That's a computer game. Uh, very heavy again on the miniatures and stuff like that. You had whole stores back in the day. With do you remember going into stores and having like walls full of uh, 
uh, big box PC games and you had miniatures to play uh, RPGs. Oh, look at this. This is like the eight, the, the advanced dungeons. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, look at this. The new vampire. Fangs a lot. So very clever people then. You know what I mean? Very, uh, uh, this is like the Chinese vampire, which was like more dangerous. Because those, those filthy motherfuckers eat anything. The well-rounded monster hunter. Robotech, stuff like that. What is this? Virgin. A game game shop. I just love the art. Look at this art. I love these all these shops, these little mom and pop shops with dice and and figurines and miniatures and uh, um, the different adventure uh, modules for Dungeons and Dragons. The servant. This is like another story that goes in depth. Uh, the Serpent of Alidorn. All those names. You know what I mean? They just captured you. Where are we? This is uh, an ad for the trail map, which I had for the different worlds, for Kryn, if it was Dragonlands, for other. Look at this. It also had computers, computer games and stuff like that coming out. So these are reviews, population, X of age, uh, hidden agenda. Look at these screenshots. What is this? Isn't this? Yeah, Loom. Look at this. Screenshot from Loom that just came out. What is it? Sim City? It looks like Sim City. No, it's not Sim City. Anyway, yeah. So you have, um, again, shops that sold you just... You had shops that just sold you dye to uh, to color the little um, miniatures. Look at this. Oh, shit. Look at this. I have a trilogy like that. Triple Your Fantasies. This is a trilogy with uh, uh, Dungeon Master's Assistant Volume 2, War of the Lance, which is a Dragonlance thing. Curse. Of the Azure Bonds, you get screenshots of those games, like I showed you. I have this one, right? I'm just showing to people who didn't see with the original floppies. Gotta love it. Anyway, so I just loved these magazines. I have like a bunch of them. I have like uh, this is uh, if you want to subscribe to the, to Dragon Magazine, you you uh, filled filled in a form and you mailed it to them. That's right mailed it these were the funnies it was like a reoccurring thing i love this one ah. no i'm sorry lads he'll he's still got 25 hit points to go this is very funny if you're a nerd that loved dungeons the dragons you loved it um this is for dungeon the board game this is uh, to subscribe to dungeon anyway love these um i have like 13 issues and uh, that's not even counting the fucking mental ones. Get it? All right, guys. If you liked what you saw, subscribe, share, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.